Welcome back to the Keller Skills video series. Today we're going to cover athletic position. And our helper today is David, one of my sons. He's seven. Say hi, David. Hi. Okay, he's the only one that wanted to uh, participate in our video today, but that's okay. He's going to show us how to do athletic position in numerous sports. So athletic position is not meant to be offense. It's not meant to be defense. It's the prime position you need to be in to do your best in any particular part of a sport. Okay, so athletic position. You ready, David? Ready. Athletic position requires you to have bent knees, feet about shoulder width apart. So open your open your feet so they're a little bit wider than your shoulders. So like this? Yep. Bend your knees now. Okay. Sometimes you have what they say is Z's in the knees, Z's in the ankles, Z's in the hips. So he wants to get a little bit lower to the ground. So now he has the ability to move any direction, forward, backwards, left, and right. Doesn't matter, he can do it quickly. If he was standing up tall and I said move to your right, he would have to bend his knees in order to move to his right. If he already has his knees bent, it's so much quicker. Okay? Now, keep going, go back in athletic position. Knees bent, shoulder width apart. Move your feet shoulder width apart, they're a little too close. Like that? There. Now from this position, he wants to change his weight to be slightly forward. So what that means is, he's not gonna be on his heels, he's gonna be slightly on the front half of his feet. And that's gonna allow him to move quicker. If he goes back on his heels, now he has to shift his weight to his front of his feet in order to move quicker. Okay, so now let's get a little more sports specific. Let's say we were playing basketball and I said, uh, play defense. How would you show? Not nah, keep your knees bent, there you go. Now what if I said dribble the basketball? Good. Now let's change the sport. Oh no, it's not. Let's do shoot the basketball, even though David doesn't have great form on this yet. He's getting there. There you go. Not bad. He has to bend and jump. Okay, now let's play soccer. Pretend you're going to try and kick the ball. Okay, good. Let's change, let's change it again. Instead of soccer, let's pretend you're going to um, run a race. Okay, this is up. Oh, not too far apart now. Get your feet only as wide as your shoulders. Get them a little closer together. Now, you did it right the first time. You're front and back, one in front of the other, but you don't want your feet, there you go. You don't want them so far apart. So if he's gonna run a race, his feet are still shoulder width apart, but they're one in front of the other. He's still gonna bend his knees, bend them both. Like this? Yep, and he's got his weight on the balls of his feet, not on the back and he's prepared to move in any direction, but in this race, he's probably going to move just forward. It won't be left or right, okay? Um, I'm trying to think of another sport that he could do here real quick. Uh, why don't you name one? Baseball. Okay. Baseball, nope. Yeah, you can pretend you're batting. Okay, good. Bend your knees just like you were doing before, and there's your athletic position. Uh, what about fielding? You're gonna be a second baseman. Pretend there's a ground ball. There you go, good. Okay, so let's recap. Athletic position involves having your feet about shoulder width apart, bending your knees, having your weight just a little bit forward on your feet, prepared to move in any direction. And basically, any sport you play will have this athletic position at some point in it and it could be offense, it could be defense, but you're going to have that position show up many times. Thank you, and we hope to see you back again on the Keller Skills video series.